The Trade Union Congress is expressing grave concern about the water crisis in the nation's capital. TUC is calling on the landowners and the government to act responsibly and address this crisis once and for all thoroughly and immediately for the sake of business houses, schools and residents in the city. A lot of it was arise out of when water was uh, commercialized really, from NCDC to the, to, to the new joint venture. What you would find in the report specifically highlighted that landowners' concerns concern were not taken into consideration. So really the, the contract was flawed and the, the query initially started in 1996. And so these are not new. Uh, concerns raised by the land, landowners and the successive governments have failed to attend to, attend to their demands. Meantime, they are also querying the 50-50 management of PNG Power assets with a company called LR Group. The executives say there needs to be further discussions on this case before final instruments are signed to get this company on board. Critical assessments of the details of the deal must come out for citizens to do independent assessments of the whole transaction to give the approval for such important public utility to be offloaded partly from the people's balance sheet. Semakaras move especially during an election period in the eve of his retirement in politics raise serious questions about the government, particularly the real intentions apart from the justifications provided. Whatever uh, commitments and agreement that's being reached between the union, PNG, PNG Energy Workers Association and the government must be in black and white spelled out clearly the details so that uh, in future there is no further confusion, there is no, no further um, uh, problems arise out of that. The unions say government needs to seriously address these two concerns as electricity and water in particular is essential for the livelihood of the nation's capital and its surrounding communities. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News. Out of the 27 candidates contesting the seat, less than 10 candidates accepted the invitation to attend the debate today. Main issues the candidates were asked to talk on were land, settlement urbanization, Motu Koitabu, transport water, and NCDC internal arrangements. Each candidate present was given 10 minutes to tell those present how he or she will address the issue if given the mandate. How would you prepare? Are we prepared for the benefits that are coming on shore? I don't think so. We're going to look back at the city. You know, the city, from the pressure of the energy projects that are coming on board, you can, you can already feel the suffocation that's happening. The roads are getting congested. congested. Goods and services are becoming more expensive. And you, I think all of you should know, not, know by now that this is also one reason this because of supply and demand. There is a big demand for land and yet a very, very small supply. And we need to open up this demand. So is only one. I want one for and that's to improve the living standards of every resident in property in Port Mosby. But for me to do that, I've got to, I've got to actually deal with a few issues. And one of the main issues I've got to deal with is land. There is no water in the settlement. I went into Kanubi yesterday, and there's a very big note saying, no water, no vote. Can you imagine? That hit me. And it's not only affecting, now it's affecting all of us because Koya has decided to shut down Kirinumu Dam. And I say thank you to the Koyaris because settlers have suffered for so long. 20, 25 years, they lived in settlements that have had no water supply. No illegal settlements means only one thing. Removing the tech settlements and bringing them to be part of this society, but must be part of our urban way of living. That is the only way forward. If we do not address that, 
Everything else does not fall into line. Water, power, roads don't flow in the air. They don't go underground. They are built on land, just like everything else. If you can get that right, you can get everything else correct. Apart from UPNG students were both domestic and international election observers. Most candidates blamed bad management, which has led to all social problems in the city. Meanwhile, polling for NCD is on the 26th of this month, which is next week, Tuesday. Michelle Amba, National MTV News. He still has an impact on people wherever he sets foot in the country. A rousing welcome was hosted for Sir Michael in Ley by the locals and CIPICs residing there. Morabe Governor Luther Wenge told hundreds that the government is running the country illegally since August 2, 2011, following the vote of no confidence and a change in government, which sparked a continuous political fight over the legitimacy till today. Whatever they can say, that's what Mila Tomasem. Sir Michael Tomasumare is still the Prime Minister of this country. He is still the Prime Minister. Now, constitutional law, Emi Tomasem, 12 months before the election, 12 months before the election, you cannot elect a new Prime Minister. That is the constitutional law. Whether you like it or not, it's a constitutionally appointed Prime Minister. Yeah. Also present was now I MP Timothy Bonga, who supported Mr. Wenger's pronouncement, adding that the Constitution still stands and that Sir Michael is still the Prime Minister. Sir Michael, in his campaign walks around the country, continues to preach about the importance of the Constitution. He says this is the basis of PNG's democracy and well-being. Law it all same. Unless you got vacancy, that's all. Time you got room, you no got room. Prime Minister is not long in. Mas kaya misiko, emi one em Prime Minister yet long country. Thing that you vote, vote long national lines, long Pango Party, National Party, People's Assembly. United Assembly, now nah. People's First Party. Thing him. I'm all 